Hi guys, this is Hushtone, and today I'm just making sort of a test video to see how you guys like my whispering from ear to ear. So, I, uh, real quick, wanted to say thank you, thank you. It is really hard to not just scream, yay, whoa. So, thank you. Thank you all so much. I gotta remember to breathe. That's the biggest, biggest problem I have is when I do these videos, I hold back my breath and don't remember to it really hard for me to continue to whisper if I don't exhale. So yeah, you're gonna get some breathy whispers, I guess, maybe. Sure, I tried to do an example and I screwed that up, but oh well. So basically, oops, bump the mic. So basically, uh, I guess I could just talk about whatever. You'll listen to it because, yeah, that's, that's what this video is for. <laughs> uh, so the reason why I haven't posted videos in a while is because I have been absolutely busy, busy, busy. Like, for the past month and a half, I'm just doing stuff for other people, um, <laughs> which is crazy. So yeah, that's why I've been really busy and I've worked maybe on four or five films in this past little bit. And so, yeah, if I'm doing the director of photography for each of those films, it's like a lot of work. Uh, one of the things I do that's probably the most involved is me 
making a storyboard and if you don't know what that is it's basically like I don't know how to describe it it's a it's kind of like stick figures essentially you like draw a box representing the image the or, or the camera position and angle you want to get and you draw the subjects in that framing and how you want them in that framing so you don't have to be a great artist to do it but it's what I do and it helps me really set up the shots so I know what I'm doing when I get on set uh, and it's actually something that a lot of people have done uh, even uh, Ridley Scott who's famous for making the Alien movie and a bunch of other movies um, can't think of all of them right now like Gladiator and Prometheus and stuff uh, he makes storyboards so uh, a bunch of other people do as well which is pretty cool anyway so that's one of the things I've been doing and that's also very time consuming so so yeah um, uh, one of the bad things though was that uh, I went over the entire script for one of the films I did with the director and the uh, lighting technician and talked about every shot essentially we were getting and even made the storyboard and everything and we were like okay this is all good and I showed up on set that day and the director slash producer uh, basically says ending your storyboard we're not going to use it <laughs> And so I was like, great, thanks. I just put a lot of work into that for nothing. And so it was one of those things that was really kind of aggravating. And it was funny, actually, on that shoot, because uh, for the first time in a long, long time, I actually got heat sick. And, like, I think I only got heat sick once when I was, like, four. But... I got heat sick and I actually, you know, regurgitated or threw up and uh, that was a lot of fun. So, yeah. But anyway, it was also annoying because after that happened, everybody just kept telling me, oh, you need to hydrate more, you need to hydrate more. <laughs> it was kind of hard to hydrate because at one point somebody... Uh, like didn't refill the cooler with uh, waters and I didn't know where the waters were located so actually I thought we were just out and I think somebody went to go get some more but anyway so it was kind of impossible for me to hydrate more but anyway so that's just some of what's been going on with me simple little stupid stuff wondering if I'm going to actually leave in my ex exhales. I want to cut those out, but I, I hate it when the video just kind of like cut and it's in a different position and stuff. But I also hate it when like it just kind of fades into another shot. So I'll probably just leave those in. So, uh, hopefully, this is doing something for you. I realize I could probably slow it down and talk very nice and calmly and do cool little hand movements that look kind of weird and fast. I see something funny. My fingers actually, they, they curve. I don't know why. Just thought I'd point that out. Anyway, clearly I have a, an, an entire script I'm going down to read. I actually know I'm just making all this up and it's, I, I think I'm doing a terrible job, but oh well. 
some of you have said. Oh, I have a soothing voice, but I'm not sure how well that will come across. Who knows? But anyway, either way, I look at this as practice. Um, I really, you know, I like making ASMR videos, obviously. Uh, and uh, whispering is like, I realize a lot of people my videos and they usually watch them for the sounds. I don't know that there's a lot of people watching my videos for the um, for the whispering in the like two videos or so that I whisper. So yeah, I'm I'm not sure whether we'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, I actually debated on whether or not, oh, there's a plane going overhead. That's great. Um, I actually debated on whether or not to, uh, just do this all in a soft-spoken voice, but I figured that I probably shouldn't just try whispering. This thing is, every time, if you keep seeing me turn my head off to the side, every time I record a video, and I mean every time, for whatever reason, I have to burp. I have no idea why. I barely ever burp, but when I do these videos, I burp like continuously. And the funny thing is, I think it happens to a lot of ASM artists because heard many videos where the people are just like they're just burping I mean not, I mean not like straight up you know but, but like you know just a little bit in their throat and it's really weird but there must be something about making ASMR videos that's like make fun of myself now, then you guys can't do it. <laughs> uh, so, that's that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. I swear that's the chair, not me. I didn't fart, totally. <laughs>